Imagine yourself being so unlucky but also so foolish to get yourself permanently banned from WWE. In today's video, I will be reacting to WrestleMania's video 11 fans who are banned from WWE forever. Let's go and check the video. Batista getting. <gasps> oh my god. Wrestling can creep. Dude, this guy is so cray cray. Batista can be like just one slap and his face is like detached from the rest of his body. Powerful emotions in fan. Create powerful emotions in fan. Wrestling can create powerful emotions in fans as they invest heavily into wrestlers in their storylines. However, on some occasions, fans take things a Aww, bit too far and decide to place their unwarranted hands on a wrestler. A big no-no in the world of professional wrestling. Crazy people. And there is a big mistake from a fan. Yep, okay. this is what you get. You get assaulted, man. Join us now man. as looks at 11 times These are fans were banned from really WWE strong WWE people. Shows. What is going on? Why would you do that? I don't like how these guys look are skinny and with like... <laughs> cray cray. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos. The shelf, not able to... We have someone in the ring and I don't... I believe that may be <gasps> a fan. Number one, Triple H defends. A fan. I love how he's Austin. not like saying. Long before camera phones existed, a fan in Germany a won person. a contest for a meet and greet at a WWF live event, believed to have taken place sometime in the late 90s, probably 1997. The fan filmed another fan running into the ring after Stone Cold Steve Austin defeated Triple H, or as he was known at the time, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Triple H looked dead on the mat apron, but he suddenly sprang to life, suplexing the fan down hard while Ooh! the referee stomped a mud hole into the foolish fan and walked it dry. This is one time that Triple H broke kayfabe oh that didn't God. land him in hot water backstage, unlike 1996's curtain call. Number two, mm, a low blow out of nowhere. There? Now, during a live event in South Africa, Randy Orton was posing in a ring, standing on the second rope, when a fan raced into the ring and no! delivered a low blow to the legend killer. Are you kidding me? Like, how long did it take, did it take people to actually react? He was posing there, the guy came behind him, like... Oh. Oh my goodness! And literally hits him directly in the balls. Does Randy have children? I hope he has children. We want more of his genes in our world. <laughs> Look, he even like came from another. Oh my god! If I was Despite Randy, attack, I would be Orton so was able furious. to get in one or two shots on his assailant. That wasn't a work, no. No. No, we press charges and the guys in jail still. However, after the run-ins, speculation arose that <laughs> Bro, the there is no situation work with may have been like a publicity stunt, as it was revealed Orton's attacker was a local wrestler who performed as Blacksmith. After that, and I will get it because everything I do in this world, I keep on shining. So yeah, Devil Devil you doesn't want to have anything to do with a person this crazy. Like, you can clearly see that this guy is a no-no. You don't deal with people like this. Blech. Blacksmith subsequently cut a YouTube promo on Orton, getting his 15 minutes of fame and 10 views. Number three, a fan knocks Eddie Guerrero off to tell the, the ladder. Story. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ladder matches are dangerous enough as they are with the yeah. match being worked, but when a fan gets involved, all bets are off. During a 2002 episode of Monday Night Raw, Eddie Guerrero battled Rob Van Dam in an exciting ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship that almost turned deadly for Latino Heat. Oh no. Eddie was climbing the ladder when oh a fan dashed into the God. ring, tipping the ladder over and sending Guerrero down to the mat, where he was able to land on his feet like a Thankfully, cat. Thankfully, he reacted. My first was, did I forget something? You know, and then I look at him. Is this work? Jersey he was wearing. Guerrero went after the idiot intruder, who WWE officials managed to get out of the ring before Eddie knocked some sense into him. And I saw it was a fan, and then I got hot. Yeah, he threw a punch. Just a oh. reminder not to come back in. Number exactly. I honestly like I'm against violence, but in these situations, these guys need like a punch or two. I am sorry to like say, hey, go punch someone, but like they risked his whole life, and some people don't learn unless you 
show them how painful it is especially if you are messing with guys this huge and all their life is about fighting wrestling sport like that is their natural habitant like this is their first reaction what did you expect to sit down and talk with them what do you, what do you mean you were about to kill him there <sighs> Number 4, CM Punk fights off a crowd. The days when fans charged the ring and tried to seriously injure wrestlers may be over, but on one night, CM Punk took a trip through the pass when he exited through the crowd and found himself swarmed by fans. The straight edge superstar was working heel at the time and he was trying to get into a position on the stairs so he could work a promo with Mr. McMahon on the 10th July 2012 edition of Raw. The problem was that the fans decided to reach out to Punk and at one time a fan nudged Punk leading to a dangerous situation where he might have tumbled down the stairs. After several fans kept slapping Punk's back and nudging him, he turned around and elbowed a fan right in the mush. The problem <gasps> was he it apparently the wrong wasn't guy. the fan who had provoked him. Yeah. The video shows what appears to be Schmidt touching the back of Punk's head. But take a closer no, it look. Was, the though. hand of another person actually touches the wrestler's head. With so many people around him, it's easy to see. Ah, ah, okay, okay, I see it. I see it now. You see like a bit of the fingers of the hand there. Although this guy was like putting his, like it is easy to like misunderstood that because his hands were high up. But these are the situations where you need bodyguard around you. I always was wondering how Jey Uso survives being in the crowd all the time or Seth Rollins, especially in recent years. Like they're just sitting, standing there or sitting there like, no one is touching them. The fans are usually on their phones or just like waving to the camera or just listening to him. And I'm like, I am so scared. Even the kids are listening. And I am so scared because like there could be someone who has bad intentions. You never know. And I don't see any bodyguards literally like next to them. Cray cray. See why things broke down. Security failed to protect Punk and Punk may have been better just getting out of the situation. The mm. angle could have always been reshot after all. Punk would comment on the situation with WWE.com saying, I think the whole situation sucks. It's an unfortunate and isolated incident. I was up mm. in the stand surrounded. Somebody said, let's push him down the stairs. <gasps> Got hit in the rib three times. I was getting shoved and I was getting punched. Then That's I started bleak. getting tagged in the back of the head. Unfortunately, I lashed out in the heat of the moment and I apologize. I'm really just glad nobody was hurt. Do you Thankfully, think that guy Punk with the glasses either. is still a set fan? fan <laughs> I mean, I see a Punk fan. John Cena. Okay, a fan trying to hug, like... John Cena is loved That's by some understood. and hated by others. Yeah. As seen after the 12th July 2010 episode Ronaldo. of Ronaldo went off the air. A fan filmed what appears Ronaldo to be a teenage to girl running into the ring and trying to get a her hands on Cena. It's Come on, she just hug her. For some hugging or for some mugging, but security quickly grabbed her after <laughs> Cena appeared to detain her momentarily. Just like tap this her head by no there. means be the most bizarre <gasps> fan okay, incident she's crazy. with Cena, what the as fudge? we'll see soon. Look at that. She turned into Sister Abigail. This was just a lovesick fan or an ardent <laughs> Cena hater. She's the problem so with all of these situations is that wrestlers big. or security can't take those chances because what looks harmless <laughs> could turn deadly. Yeah. Armed security still around the... Number six, a fan joins <laughs> the shield. Well, he's like, if I touch that guy. featured a six man tag match between the Wyatt family and Chris Jericho alongside the, the shield's fan. Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. Aww. Perhaps feeling Jericho wasn't up to the task at hand, a Rest fan entered the ring ready to join the shield. And he's like wearing the outfit. Had other ideas and he was quickly taken out of the ring. In hindsight, the. Oh my god, like this is a premeditated situation here, you guys. This guy was dressed in the shield. Like, he was like, I am gonna play my part. I'm gonna pretend this is work. You know, they're gonna enjoy it. They're gonna hire me. I'm gonna be a part of the shield, the fourth member. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Dude, some people are so out of their minds. It's insane. Out of the ring. In hindsight, the fan may have been right as Jericho ended up submitting to Braun Strowman during the match. Number seven, Seth Rollins. I had a feeling Seth Rollins is going to be a part of this list. Seth he really Rollins puts himself... to get some good heel heat. Either that or he's just a natural-born weirdness magnet attracting over-the-edge fans whenever he shows up. Let's <laughs> take a look at some of the Monday Night Messiah's greatest unwanted Messiah. interactions with fans. I First starting this. with the 7th September 2015 Raw. 
Now, during this time, Seth Rollins was on a roll in the WWE, holding both the United States Championship and WWE I'm World so Heavyweight Championship when he prepared to team up with The New Day against John Cena, Titus O'Neil, and Darren Young. A fan must have wanted his brush with greatness as he snuck over the barricade during <laughs> Seth's entrance, walking alongside the champion for a few moments before counting the lights for <laughs> security. McMahon. Another moment happened on the 15th August 2016 oh. Raw. Finn Balor. I am the face of your failure. This is when Seth called out Finn Balor before their SummerSlam match. But then a fan jumped the barricade and entered the ring only to get pushed back by Rollins and quickly want? dispatched by WWE security. <laughs> Number 8, Dean Ambrose. Oh As my we've god! Seen and we've seen later, <laughs> fans just something? love messing with the shield. In 2015, yeah? Dean Ambrose was walking the aisle at the SmackDown taping at Providence, Rhode Island's Dunkin' Donuts Center when a fan rushed towards him. The problem was that Ambrose's back was to the fan and he could yeah. have been blindsided. Thankfully, a security official was able to tackle the fan down. Nice. The fan had something in their hand and things could have been dire if it wasn't Shit. for security actually doing their job. <gasps> Number nine. What do you mean he had something in his hand? A weapon? Like, what do you mean? Don't they check that? Isn't it safe to go to these events? Oh my goodness. Like, when I went to the German event, like, they checked my jacket they checked my purse like everything they had like this whole machine as well like like going around like i don't know i don't know if they do that in america security actually doing their job number nine who's nxt a 2017 NXT live event featured a match between the Undisputed Era and the team of Heavy Machinery and Cassius Ono and a fan. Once again, the <laughs> fan decided to make himself famous, this time I running in on the black and gold see. brand. Oh. Undisputed Era member Kyle O'Reilly wasn't suffering fools that night and made short work of the foolish fan, kicking him in the face Wait, he before did security kick him? took the fan away. Number oh, 10, I, I really back. love the fan doing this. <laughs> like... What are you doing? Like, I didn't do anything. Look, my hands are up. It's safe. <laughs> I can't. I just can't believe this is a thing. Ah, oh, people. You fascinate me in weird ways. He took the fan away. Number 10, Paul Bearer. Because I was standing over the graveside of your mother and father. In 1997, Paul Bearer was feuding with The Undertaker. Bearer would bring in Kane and proclaim that The Undertaker was responsible for his parents' death, making Bearer even more hated than when he betrayed the dead man by siding with mankind. Oh, stop that! Stop that! Oh. That's hideous! One fan seemed determined hideous. to dish out the punishment as Bearer found out during an episode of Raw when oh. she dove at him. Who is this idiot? There's some fans. The young fan grabbed at Bearer's feet and he eventually lost his balance, falling down on the protective mats outside the ring. Oh, thank and God he didn't Reigns hurt his back with uh, his head on the stairs there. The Money in the Bank briefcase has been weaponized by more than one wrestler, but what happens when a WWE fan decides to use it with ill intent? Uh oh, that's in a kid. In 2015, oh, no. Roman Just Reigns was wrestling Bray Wyatt at a live event in Victoria, British Columbia, God. when a fan decided to take his replica Money in the Bank <laughs> briefcase and throw it straight at Reigns in the ring. The Dude, this ain't. The fans who saw it <laughs> claiming Reigns was momentarily stunned. Victoria <laughs> Police spokesperson Sergeant Brian Edwards commented on what happened to the attacker. That's funny. No one was hurt and no charges were laid after an apology was given by the fan. The 31 year old male has been. Dude, Roman Reigns is so nice. Nah, bruh. Apology. Nah. Uh uh. You are gonna end up in jail for a couple of nights. For sure. Like, no. No, 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 no. He literally hit him in the head. It could have been so much worse. That's a weapon he used. G was given by the fan. The 31 year old male has been banned from any WWE wrestling shows in the future. How do they ban them? Like, do they have a picture of them? Honestly, like the name. When you buy a ticket, it's on your name, right? Like, but. You and you have to show your ID, I think. I'm not sure. Like, that's one way. Huh. So you can change your ID and your name and then back in. You're in again. I mean, if you are so crazy to actually interfere with the match and go against someone as Batista or Triple H, 
then you're crazy to change your name and your whole identity and like your facial structure just to get into another WWE event. Duh. <laughs> that one fan who blend in as one of the shield was hilarious as F. Honestly, like he did blend in. I was like, is this, is this work? What? Like I bet everybody was thinking the same. Not gonna lie, whoever threw that briefcase at Roman got some damn good aim. Yeah! <laughs> like literally directly hitting him. <laughs> is that a ball or something? Like it's really weirdly shaped to aim it that good. <laughs> and I know it's like bad thing to laugh about. Somebody like really got hurt there. Not really, I guess, but still. Ah, yeah, it's so funny. Gotta laugh. Imagine dressing up as a wrestler and jumping into a Royal Rumble going unnoticed. Which is such a possibility because like, you know how in Royal Rumbles there's like 20 people at the same time fighting and like it's chaos. It's complete chaos. You can like just go in and be on one of the corners, just sit around, like don't touch any of the wrestlers so they don't notice you. <laughs> you know, like they are busy doing their own thing and their own routine. <gasps> don't give crazy people ideas. Please don't. Yeah, let's let's stop here before we give someone a crazy idea. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Liking the video is so important. It's just one teeny tiny click for you, but it means so much for YouTube and the algorithm. And it helps my channel. Or if you want to support me even further, you can, you can check out my Patreon for weekly WWE uploads. Patreon.com slash support bunny. I will leave a link in the description down below. Have a wonderful day and see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye. Out of breath. <laughs> <laughs>